Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to use Google Sheets to create a uh, map geo chart. Okay, so I'm just over here at this website, the numbers, and I'm going to grab some movie data. So I'm just going to go ahead and select a big chunk of data. I guess I can grab it all. It's no big deal. Control copy, and what have I got here? This is going to be basically number of movies, average production budgets, total worldwide box office. Head over to a Google spreadsheet, and I'm going to go ahead and paste this in. Take a quick second to resize my columns, and I can click anywhere in this table and go ahead and uh, create a filter on it. And I think I'm going to go ahead and sort Z to A by the number of movies. I'll, I'll I'll focus on countries that are producing the most movies and I'll look at average production uh, results. So now that I have these sorted, I'll create my first geo chart. So I think I'm just going to select some data right here. It doesn't really matter how far I go. I'm just going to select a few things. I'll choose insert chart. It's defaulting to a column chart, but over here on my chart editor on the right, I'll simply scroll down and look for my map category and my geo chart. And this is an example of a geo chart. And it uses color coding in order to kind of in indicate where the high values are versus the low values. It doesn't give me a lot of options here. We can add a mid range color, but that's the basic geo chart. Now, let's try another one real quick. So I'm just going to click on the border of this, delete that. And this time, I'm going to delete column B. So now that I've got these two columns next to each other, my average production budget, along with the country names. And I'll go ahead and select some data, doesn't matter how far I go, insert, chart, it's defaulting to a pie chart now. I'm going to change my chart type over to the geo chart, and I have another chart here. However, there is a little bug in that this time I did not get a default legend, which is pretty helpful for my chart, so that's problematic. So let's see if we can't solve that particular issue. I'm just going to use my menu here, and I'll go ahead and delete this chart and just click anywhere in a blank area. That's fine. And this time I'm going to do insert chart without doing a selection. I get a blank chart, and then over on my chart editor, I'll use the data range area, click on the select data range, and this time I'll reselect A1 down to about B33, just get a, you know, 32 countries or so. Click OK. I'm getting a column chart by default. Change my chart type over to Map Geo Chart, and I have my legend back. Um, back. So that can be um, a little bit weird, so it might take a couple of attempts to get that chart. Now that I've got this geo chart set up, I am going to alter the color coding just a bit, and over in my chart editor, I'm going to head over to Customize go to the geo chart and it's giving me a min of red and a and a, a max of green which I'm okay with but I'm gonna had add a mid color and I guess I'll just do a shade of yellow in there and that'll give me a little bit more variety in the choices and for my no values I'll change that from gray over to white so it gets de-emphasized a bit so now I've got a pretty interesting chart that gives me some better visual cues and these are basically average production budgets per, Per, um, per country. And when I'm active on the chart, I can click and mouse over various countries. So we can see the US is around 37.1 million, Canada 19.2. We can head over into the Russian Federation and 14.8 million, obviously Australia, a couple of South American countries, um, nations in Europe and things like that. Now, if you did want to focus on a particular area, we can, instead of the world basically, back in our edit chart, we can head over to customize for the geo chart and we can focus on a particular region. So maybe we were curious just about Europe and then we can focus on that area a little bit better so that we can see the variances in the various countries and those amounts. So that's pretty cool. That's a uh, geo chart under the map category in Google Sheets. And although it can be a little bit quirky, but uh, to get the legend on there. Once you do have your data set, remember you can only use a couple columns, one column for the country names, another column for the, um, for the values, and then start your chart from that point. 
Now, just so I have another example, I do have another sheet up here, and this one has college debt uh, per state in the US. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this again with insert chart, get a blank chart. I'm gonna select my data range using my chart editor. Go ahead and select data range. This time I will select A1 all the way down, and I'll click OK. There's my chart. I'm gonna change the uh, chart type over to a geo chart. But this time when I go to customize and geo and region, I will choose the US. And so I get a close up view of just the US states. And I would probably still wanna do sim something similar because you can see the chart's not showing any of the red on here. Um, it's basically my color breakdown is a little bit too close together. So. Still under Customize, I'm going to give myself a mid-color, maybe I'll choose orange, and so I can start to see a little bit more variance as I move around in, uh, for regions, you know, states within the U.S., where the numbers are relatively similar, but there's still a few outliers where I can point to just by color, and I can see where those higher values are. Okay, so have fun. Start making yourself some geomap charts in Google Sheets.